beautiful Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your Twin Flame reading for February 2022. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are turning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details and I will never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Scorpio, so this is the Twin Flame reading. Please check out whether you're in a Twin Flame connection um, because these readings tend to be quite um, intense. And if you do not know where the Twin Flame um, connection is, please check it out online. Uh, also, um, it normally means there are two people who uh, meet each other. They are part of the same energy. They are so alike in their energy and they trigger the hell out of each other. So there'll be a runner and a chaser. Uh, the runner avoids their feelings and the chaser knows that they've met their twin flame um, and feels intense feelings of rejection when their twin counterpart uh, bolts or avoids their feelings. Uh, now, spiritually, they ascend, evolve together separately, normally. It's a very difficult journey to take. Not everybody can take the journey um, and sometimes uh, they give up. Sometimes there can be two uh, runners in a connection as well. Um, now the first card is going to be your card, the second card is your person's card, and uh, the last uh, card is your unified energy as to how this uh, can work out for you. Um, now they want me to go two more in this position so I will. Thank you so much for it guys, great angels. Okay, um, now also just to let you know, uh, the Twin Fame connection I often explain it like magnets, okay? Two magnets that are energetically charged in the same way. They're so alike in their polarity that whilst there is a pull towards each other, uh, a chemical reaction, there is also a push. So both magnets, they still seem to remain apart, okay? They never quite connect fully uh, because they're so alike. So energetically, the magnets remain apart and they change their polarities, okay? So that as soon as that happens, there is a match, okay? So I like to explain it like that to people. I'm gonna get all of your cards first and then I'm going to uh, check out the energy. And my guides have uh, brought me to doing a Celtic cross right at the end, uh, just to see what is going on in the dynamics. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Okay. <clears throat> They want me to go again. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels, can you please? Okay, I gotta go get those cards. Um, one moment, please. Okay, we have a family room and we have community, okay? So that is about working together, um, but also it's about opening up um, to feelings. Uh, also, uh, and I picked up on this in a meditation, uh, it's coming up again here. Uh, you may feel uh, like your twin counterpart always has either another option or you may feel like your counterpart makes it, it's almost like they tell you that they're, or they make out that they're so desirable. Uh, it doesn't mean that they're not desirable. I feel like they, oh, I feel like they are very desirable. Um, but you may also feel sometimes that you put them on a bit of a pedestal, my beautiful Scorpio, and you may feel because you love this person that everybody else must love this person too. Uh, and sometimes you may feel like they have somebody else, okay, waiting in the wings. So I'm gonna check out that energy and see what's going on there. Um, it's not gonna resonate for everyone, so I'm not sure uh, if I'm picking up on your twin flame. I mean, you've got the community card again, so that's about working together. Okay, they want me to go one more, so I will. 
okay and we've got the snake energy here as well okay now the snake doesn't always mean um anything negative it can mean things that are hidden coming to light and we've already seen it come up there so let us see this is your protagonist energy we've got arguments there's something not sitting right with you with this connection, my beautiful Scorpio. You may even be uh, a little bit confused with how you feel about this connection anymore. You may be trying to step away because you're trying to release drama in your world. And part of the drama is this twin flame connection because there is an element or a cycle in this connection with this person that tends to uh, lead to the same space where you're just standing there alone going, really, this has happened again, again? So it says here you're constantly fighting and it feels like there it is never ending. Repeating these patterns mean that you have not learnt the lessons. Okay, so if you and this person continuously, like I mean, look, these two people have got their backs towards each other. So there's, as I mentioned earlier, there, there can be two people who avoid energy. There can be two runners in a connection. And I feel like sometimes, my beautiful Scorpio, not at the beginning. At the beginning, you were the chaser. I feel like you knew that this person was the one. You knew that this person was instrumental to your journey, that they had a pull on your heart, that you were meant to know this person because you knew that they are um, a faded relationship. They are your twin flame counterpart. But I feel like you're trying to turn your back on those feelings. You're trying to fight that because it's been a very difficult journey with this person. They avoided their feelings first, okay? And um, now... Again, I'm not here to take sides in a connection. I'm, I'm not, not here to say you did this, they did that. I'm here to understand the connection in a way where I can see from both sides so that I can tr transmute an outcome, okay? But what I'm getting here, it's almost like one-upmanship in this connection. So Scorpio, and I'm a Scorpio too, so I kind of understand this energy. So for example, if this person disconnected from you and did not connect or, or did not message you back for two days, you don't message this person for a week. If they don't message you for a month, you don't message them for a year. You know, I feel there is, it's almost like you're not trying to play a game with this person. You're trying to show them this behavior is unacceptable. So you're mirroring their behavior. Twin flame connections tend to mirror each other, okay? Because you are a reflection of yourselves and each other because you're so alike. Uh, that's what triggers the connection. But as you can see, those waves are crashing against both parties. It's almost like the waves are trying to push you both off your stubborn center in order to make you fall into that water so that you both acknowledge the emotions because water and the sea tends to be about um, dreams or love or emotional sort of concepts. Okay, so I feel like both of you, it's almost like there's avoidance from both sides right now. It didn't always used to be this way, but I feel like you are fighting this connection now because you may have felt like this person rejected you very uh, hard to take that rejection. And you may be trying to pretend like it never happened. Because I get this energy of, I wish I never met this person. Because I feel like it's made you change your course in a way where you may feel like um, you rejected other offers or you rejected other situations. Um, because you could not stop thinking about this person. This, I mean, look at the two people there. They are identical. They're both got their backs towards each other, their hands on their face, like, this isn't happening, this isn't happening. I do not have deep feelings of love for this person. Um, even though both of you are aware you're in the same situation, you are both thinking about each other. You are both in a stalemate position. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Now, <clears throat> So although it's arguing and you may be arguing with this person or it's almost like they hurt you, you hurt them. You don't go out to hurt this person, but I feel like you really stand your ground. You're the sort of person, my beautiful Scorpio, you see through this person's patterns. You can see them a mile away, but there's something about this person that you allow the pattern to play out because there's love there. And when love is in the equation, common sense walks out of the equation. The heart wants what the heart wants. And I feel you have tried to fight this for a long time. Um, but you cannot deny that there are feelings for this person. But you are at a fork in the road because I feel there is, um, you and this person keep going round and round in a pattern. This person comes on in, they tell you that they love you, they wanna be with you, they wanna settle down, but it's not sustainable. It doesn't go anywhere. It's almost like they're all talk and no action sometimes. And that may make you think, is there another person involved? or you knew that there was another person involved and you're wondering, is that person still with that person? Um, 
it's it's never ending okay so i feel like it's like never ending story um going on and on and on okay but i feel you're the counterpart that is maturing quicker than the other uh than your uh, twin flame because we have the mature woman now male or female not a gender specific reading it's about the energy so there is maturity going on here within you and you may feel like time is running out you've waited a long time for this connection to find some sort of balance or stability and you may have felt like um you know that this person is the one it's number six number six is the number of the lovers but the lovers card used to be called the choice so i feel like you're making a very difficult choice to maybe think about disconnecting from this connection because you've waited too long this person has waited too long they've not really shown you the loyalty that you truly deserve and desire they've not really opened their heart i feel there's a big question mark over this twin flame you never knew truly how they felt instinctively Deep down, you can feel that this person loves you. They love you to the ends of the earth. You can feel it, they can feel it, but they've been avoidant. And it's made you question everything, even your intuition. Because when you know, you know. In a Scorpio, you're very highly intuitive. Uh, you're emphatic, and I know a lot of people say that word, but I feel like some, you know, you all also have psychic skills. So as soon as you met this person to start with, it was like a laser focus. You knew that this person was the one. That is not an accident. That is not, you may have questioned yourself, but I feel deep down you do know. But because as time has gone by, you've had to accept this person as they truly are in their pattern that they come in with. But this is not your pattern. You are not wanting to be in this pattern anymore. You're making a decision to leave the cycle, okay? So um, I do feel like, <clears throat> You're just feeling a little bit fed up and jaded with this situation now. And I feel like you're thinking about looking at other options, not because you wanted to, but because you feel like you need to. Also, I feel like you are still in your prime, but there may be something here deep within you may, where you may feel like time is running out or you're getting older and you're worried that you're losing your looks. That is not the case. Okay, my beautiful Scorpio, if you want new love, there is new love coming on in for you. Uh, we did, um, that did show up in a singles reading earlier. So if you're in the separation period right now and you're feeling that you cannot take the journey with your twin flame, um, although there looks like there is some radical change going on in the union for the positive, um, but if you t decide to step away, there is new love coming for you. Even if you're 70, 90 years of age, okay, don't give up on love. Um, is what they're giving me here uh, but I feel like you are um, you're looking at things from a different perspective now you've got healthy boundaries you've got strong self-esteem and what they come on in with just doesn't cut it anymore I feel like you're not allowing this person to just come on uh, come under the radar and act the way that they want to uh, I feel like you've matured to the point where you're like no that's not acceptable anymore I'm different I'm changed I feel like you've really um, moved on in in the connection now we do have number 22 which is interesting because when you reduce it two plus two is for the emperor energy so that is about strategy or planning it's also about taking the power back now you don't set out with a strategy my beautiful scorpio you're not cunning or kind of like um sitting there how to so, sort of like win this game of the twin flame union i feel like you're opening yourself up finally to other options the Fork in the Road, the Crossroads card. This is the Lenormand deck by Lamucci Design. Beautiful deck there. I'm also using the Kipper deck by Marchetti. And the first deck there is the Maruka X deck, which is the Twin Flame Connection deck. Okay, beautiful deck there. But you've got some options. And Scorpio, I have to remind you, you may not see that actually you turn heads. You do have a lot of options when it comes to love. But there's just that one person, the Twin Flame. You met the twin and now it's like once bitten, there's, there's nobody else. So I feel like you have found it very difficult to open yourself up to other avenues when it comes to love. Because when you know, you know. So I feel like that may have held you back in some respects. Um, but I feel like you're opening yourself up to other options now. I feel like you're, it's kind of an energy and I say it every reading, if you've got placements in Leo, there's something there as well in that reading. Because there is an energy of should I stay or should I go? Okay, what if, what if I just leave this? Does love await me elsewhere? The answer is yes, okay, just so you're aware. But I feel like you're thinking about settling down because we got the four energy with that 22. So I feel like you're looking for stability now. You, you, you feel like it's not that time is running out, but you feel mature enough now to think about wanting to settle down and get serious about being in a relationship. 
I mean, all Scorpios, when they give their heart away, they're serious. Scorpio does not give their way their heart away easily. So if a Scorpio ever gives you their heart, know that they have thought about this long and hard and they've fallen hard as well. I probably shouldn't say that as a Scorpio because that's sort of like giving like an insider uh, information about Scorpio. But, you know, we don't fall in love easily. We protect our heart actually uh, quite a lot uh, because we know the depths of emotion we are capable of when we merge with another soul. So we don't do it lightly. We make sure we know before we invest. And that's what's so difficult when we know we have met a counterpart and the twin flame actually avoids their feelings, okay? So this person that you're dealing with, we got protective. This person is closed, closed, closed when it comes to their heart. It says this uh, relationship um, I mean, long term, you will feel protected and safe. Both of you will love each other immensely that you will fear losing one another. Fear is a very complex, strange, it has a strange effect on humans, okay? When you fear that you may lose something, sometimes it makes people go, that's too much responsibility. So they avoid it's interesting, I always put it like this because my guides gave this to me many, many years ago because I couldn't understand it myself. If you think about, you know, say for example, you've got a diamond ring, okay? A diamond ring that's worth thousands of dollars or pounds or yen or whatever uh, you're, you're trading in. Um, and this diamond is like something that you save really long and hard to find and, you know, uh, invest in, okay? You don't wear that diamond everywhere. You put that diamond in a box and you take it out on special occasions where you feel you want to, you know, wear it out, but also where you feel like it would be safe to wear it out. You don't just wear it down to the supermarket. You don't just wear it out wherever, okay? You keep it safe, locked away in a little box somewhere that no one else will find it, okay? Because it is worth a lot. It means a lot to you. You may wear costume jewelry instead, and you wear that everywhere. The stuff that really doesn't mean as much. It's the same in a relationship. Sometimes, especially when we meet our twin, we do not, we, we feel the intense feelings and we know, oh, I could get very damaged in this connection because my whole heart will be on the line. So some people, they have the courage to dive in. Others are like, I can't, I can't go there because this person has the power to hurt me. So what they do is they may check in from time to time because they are intensely connected to you, but sometimes they seek another option where they don't feel so, um, that they will be hurt so badly. We, they go for the safe option. Now you may have been presented with that in the past as well, my beautiful Scorpio, but you know the heart wants what the heart wants. We, our, heart, our heart always longs to go back to where it really truly belongs, okay? So they're just giving me this energy that this person chose the safe option. If you feel like they chose someone else over you, they chose the safe option because they felt that that person did not have the power to hurt them. Okay, I know the human being is, and the human mind and the human complex is so um, intense and so uh, wonderfully intrinsic. Sometimes we do some things that we're like, what? Not even we know why we do it. Um, but I feel like this person, their heart really truly beats for you. Now, they're showing me a watch and it's upside down. Okay, so the watch is upside down. So either this person uh, has worn their watch upside down before, uh, or maybe they do. Uh, when it's up this way, maybe they wear it upside down, but when it turns around like this, maybe it's on the upright when it's underneath. I'm not really sure what this is about. I can't even place that. If it's, up, if it's upside down there, surely it would be upside down here as well. I'm not sure. Uh, so, or there's something about an upside down watch, or this is something that means something to you. Um, maybe it's an image that you can see right now. So please take it as it resonates. I'm not really sure how it resonates. Maybe it's like you feel this person never has time for a connection or, I mean, they're a little bit upside down in their energy. I'm not really sure how that uh, is working out there. But this person, they protect their heart. Now this may be something from, I mean, deep down, we've got the dog here. So this person, this person fears um, settling down. Uh, because we've got number 18 there. I feel I feel this person has the potential to be very loyal, committed, loving partner. Uh, yes, they're a bit of a project. I'm not going to lie to you. We've got the toil and labor here. I do feel like this person is working on themselves. I'm going to pull a card quickly on the protective energy just to see what that is, because I feel like this person may have been 
either damaged in a previous relationship before they met you or um, they um, experienced something in childhood that has uh, attached a trauma to opening up to love this person this person has fear of loss fear of losing fear of abandonment okay um, so it's almost like in order to conquer the thing that you fear you actually do it yourself you abandon to keep control so this person may have ghosted you or may have walked away from the union because it felt that they were in some sort of control in a situation this person is not very good with their emotions they feel like their emo their emotions kind of swamp them but anyway uh, again i'm not here to give uh, excuses for a person i'm here to understand this person does not feel like they're beautiful they do not like what they look at in the mirror uh king of pentacles they are capable of actually um they are capable of investing highly in a relationship and they may have done it with other people in the past. Yeah, this person tends to settle for lesser relationships. Odd. Uh, that sounds a little bit, you know, negative against the person that they're choosing. Um, that's not what I mean. Um, this person tends to... It's interesting. Um, there's something here about... A mother and a father figure as well is what I'm getting I feel like there may have been an absent father figure but the father tended to come back to the mother I mean male or female not a gender specific reading uh, it can mean the masculine energy sort of had a tendency to leave and come back to the feminine energy of a dynamic when they were younger um, and this person witnessed how painful it, the cycle was but this person actually is emulating a cycle because this person it's almost like this person idolized a masculine energy who was rarely present in their world that's what I'm picking up but anyway we've got the nine of Pentacles this person feels like they're not good enough uh, also this person may uh, be a bit of a workaholic I feel like they focus a lot on uh, their career this person's very jealous as well okay very protective I mean to get this card and the protective there this person is very protective and Scorpio if you've got a lot of options or you've got a lot of people finding you attractive this person feels um, insecure next to that that's not your fault you know you got to shine your wonderful light be who you are they have to learn that you have one of the most loyal hearts on offer okay uh, they've not learned that yet uh, this person is very very uh, it's almost like they treat the relationship with kit gloves Okay, so they feel like they're not attractive um, next to you or next to other suitors that you may have. This person, um, I feel like they focus a lot on their career because we do have the King of Pentacles here right next to it. So this person does a lot. Most of their time is spent working, trying to build a fortune. This person is, um, actually this person may have messaged you um, one of the last times or they will, there's a message here about this person telling you that they're doing some charity work. So either this person has told you that they have uh, decided to do like a fun run or something for charity or a marathon for charity or uh, they're doing something philanthropic, which is not normally the way that you would think about this person. Um, they're almost peacocking. They're telling you that they've done something wonderful so that you feel, number one, that they're changing and becoming more responsible and more socially aware and more caring and loving. They're showing you what they're capable of. Okay, and if you haven't received that message yet, you will receive a message where this person is saying that they are doing something for charity or they're more involved with um, helping others who are in need. Okay, um, now the King of Pentacles, this person is creating a stable environment for themselves. And I feel like this person is, I mean, this person could have very strong earth in their chart because we've got a lot of it here. Uh, this person is reconnecting with their emotions. We've got the four of um, cups it's in the reverse this person is opening themselves up to a new perspective when they were younger they may have been very sort of unfulfilled they didn't know what they were really looking for they were a little bit wishy-washy they did not expect to fall in love with you okay this person always tended to feel like the glass was half empty but now they're starting to realize the glass is the glass is half full so this person is maturing also um, I do feel with this four of cups as well that this person is feeling more happy fulfilled in life in general and now they're starting to think about settling down okay now we do have the um 
the six of uh, pentacles here in the reverse this person tends to or tended to not really invest in things um that they felt did would not go the distance whilst deep down they had so much love for you they feared that you would leave them because i feel like this person has been left either by a guardian or a parent type figure in the past or um this person's deepest fear is to be alone actually um, is what they're giving me so this person tends to it's interesting because this person doesn't truly invest fully in things so they're actually pushing people away and they don't realize their actions were pushing people away but their deepest fear it's almost like they are creating their deepest fear if that makes sense um, also this person tends to settle for second best not anymore this person is changing but they tended to uh, because they did not feel emotionally that they were worth it, okay? Uh, this is something, again, I'm not here to give someone an excuse. I'm here to understand so that I can transmute an outcome. We got the Queen of Cups. This person is uh, starting to love themselves a bit more fully and feel a little bit more comfortable in their own skin. And I do feel like, I mean, some people say that this is a Scorpio energy, but I always attribute the King of Cups as the Scorpio energy. So this is a Cancerian energy though, but it is all about emotions. Someone who's nurturing, healing, supportive. This person, I feel, I feel like they got some very strong earth in their charts. And I feel, I mean, even though energetically they're not a match, the, I feel the frequency is changing in this dynamic between you and this person. This person tends to reach out to you when things are not going so well in their world because they see you as the person who has unconditional love for them, who is a healer, someone that they feel uh, they can reach out to, who gives them hope. Deep down, this person knows why you're the only person who can give them what nobody else can give them because they know that there is a twin flame connection here. They know that they have given you their heart and vice versa. They know that the hearts have already been exchanged, but this person has been avoidant. I feel now this person is maturing, okay? So if, if this person tended to reach out whenever things were going wrong, they sent like an SOS or a message of concern. Um, I feel like this person is working on themselves to be independent um, and not necessarily come with to you with need. They're coming to you with want. So they want to be with you rather than they need something from you, for example. Okay. This person is working really hard to be on their soul path and they're really working hard to, it's almost like work out why they rejected some of the things in the connection, why they avoided their feelings. This person is facing it. As you can see, these figures are all facing the machine. They're looking inwards at the inner workings so this person is really either doing some sort of soul work some sort of um counseling or really learning about the human psyche this person is working out that you are their right path you are the person that they truly want to be with okay i feel like this person is having an awakening we've got the dog as well so this person is becoming someone who is loyal who is thinking about wanting to settle down dog energy i mean is more about the home space rather than wolf energy which is more about independence so i feel like this person does want to be loyal okay i feel like this person hasn't found what they're searching for in life in terms of their soul path i feel like they're still look looking a little bit more regarding that but the one thing that they keep coming back to my beautiful scorpio is you we got number 18 which is the moon energy so this person's really looking at their emotions they're working out their fears it's almost like they're sniffing out their fears and they are deciding to sort of dig them up and look at them and come into a space where loyalty trust respect uh, are all um, sort of the words they're giving me are all bedfellows so I feel like this person wants to settle down with someone they can trust so either this person took a karmic and that person taught them a very difficult lesson or they have been in a situation in the past where they've been taught a, a tough lesson in love um, and I feel like this person is starting to become comfortable with the idea of settling down okay now the outcome position uh, and just to let you know, I will be doing a Celtic cross as well for your sign. Um, we've got addicted to toxicity. Toxic relationships give an opportunity to overcome unresolved pain. Take this time to heal, grow, and become more self-aware. There is love here. So either this person had some sort of substance abuse, because there's lots of little pills there. Uh, I feel like more than pills, I feel like they're pearls of wisdom. 
actually that's what I'm feeling they are um, and I feel this person is um, someone who is uh, I feel like this person is obsessed with you actually Scorpio this person can never let you go even if you decide to walk away from this person this person will message you to the end of time this person is not going anywhere fast okay this person thinks about you all the time this person thinks about what they lost by avoiding their feelings but as you can see they're putting their hand up to their crown chakra there this person thinks about you all the time they know and um, they just said to me, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. So this person feels that you are home. Um, but they let their pattern or toxicity get in the way. I mean, this person, they've got control issues as well. This person keeps a tight rein on their emotions, really tight rein on their emotions. And I feel like you, Scorpio, you love with wild abandon. You're intense. You, you're willing to go to those spaces that not many people are willing to go, whether that's in terms of sexuality between the sheets, whether it's in terms of love, emotion, care, you're willing to go to the depths. And that scared the bejeebies out of this person who was not used to. This person has got a, it's almost like they got a restraining order on their emotions. They keep it tight within. So when they met you, a very, very different creature when it comes to emotions and intensity I feel like this person became very overwhelmed but they liked it so they kept coming back for more but they were like I can't. they couldn't work you out this is what I'm getting from this card this person tried to work you out they couldn't work you out they felt like you were like a one-off kind of like firecracker energy where they thought surely people like this don't want to settle down so they felt they had to keep a part of themselves distant from you because they felt like you could hurt them. So in order to take back the power, this person hurt you by avoiding their feelings and creating a lot of chaos, okay? I feel like this person will acknowledge it in a message that they took a wrong turn in life. They made some very wrong decisions because this person I feel regret there, okay? Uh, now we do have awakening. This is your unified energy. So both of you need to be aware of the pattern in order to release it. And we've got awakening here. So it says your twin is awakening to your connection and they're ready to put the work in to manifest the reunion in the 3D world. Expect some progress. So this is February. So I do feel like you will feel the change. I do. I'm going to go for a Celtic cross and see if they're going to come and talk to you. But there's definitely a shift in February where this person is seeking you out. OK, this person is looking to the future. Look at look at the calm waters. Look at the, the tumultuous waters right there. Now look at this figure just standing there in the emotional water. It's all calm. This person's ready to accept the union. This person wants to reunite. Now we've also got celebration. Okay? And it says, you will soon hear some good news. Something that, you, uh, that will cause you to celebrate and rejoice. Now this can be to do with your twin flame. I mean, some of the balloons there behind her are stars. So this is about healing. But I feel on a personal level, my beautiful Scorpio, in terms of your career, there's definitely some really good news coming on in here for you. Okay? Um, I mean, you've even got unexpected income. So I do feel like there is some financial reward coming on in towards you. Uh, you're being gifted by the universe. Uh, but I do feel like this is good news in terms of your connection as well. Okay, I feel like you'll have something to celebrate in the connection. Now we've also got number 27, which when you reduce it is the Virgo energy of the Hermit. Um, We've also got the, you know, 38 there for your person is uh, 11 when you reduce it. And that is the justice card. So this person receiving karma in order to, uh, you know, acknowledge the way that things have been working and how things need to change. Um, this is an energy of solitary energy. So I feel that you've been working on something on your own, my beautiful Scorpio, that's going to reap rewards financially. Uh, also, this is about the universe intervening to bring something really good in your connection. When it comes to twin flame energy, I mean, some of you may have been dealing with a Gemini, a Virgo, or a Libra energy. Could have been a little bit of Cancerian and Aries as well, but we're gonna go to a Celtic cross. We'll see a bit more. Um, I do feel like with this energy, this is about reciprocal relationship, a give and take, okay? So I feel like you're opening yourself up to a balanced union with this person. We got number 21, and then number 21 is a world card energy, which is about learning a lesson, things coming full circle, okay? There being a new cycle. Now you get to choose, because you've got the fork in the road here. The choice is, you walk away from this union forever and seek new love, or 
you accept that the lesson is being learnt and that your efforts are becoming full circle and you have a deeper understanding in your connect of your connection in this relationship and that there is satisfaction and fulfillment okay we've got family room here so i feel like both you and your twin flame have very similar family dynamics about um betrayal is what they're showing me uh, i do feel like because there's two feminine pictures here. So I feel like both of you have experienced something where either your parents or guardians, there has been either a third party sort of argument. I mean, their parents may never have cheated, but there may have been arguments about suspicion or jealousy or insecurity. I just feel like there's a lot of insecurity that has been witnessed in childhood. And it's almost like ancestral wounding that you and your person have been called to break the cycle. Very difficult position to be in. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. This person, your twin flame, talks about you a lot to their family. A lot. We've got the magician in reverse. Now that is about unfulfilled potential. This person tells their family that they wasted a lot of time not being with you they wasted a lot of your time they wasted their energy this person yeah look at that this person wants to come on in uh three cups in the reverse so if this person had a third party situation or uh they did not support the union i, I feel like your friends and your family don't really like this person the way that it has worked out but i feel like this person tells their uh family um that they made a mistake separating uh, we've got the Ten of Cups there in the reverse, which is about separation. Uh, maybe if you were even married to this person, I feel like, um, you know, there's no third party is what they're basically saying. But I feel from childhood, this person, they may have gone uh, grown up in a very sometimes dysfunctional. I mean, show me a family that's not dysfunctional. We've all got our things, right? Um, humans are very complex. But I feel like there's a lot of arguments about insecurity. It, there may not have been a third party, but there is always like it was hanging over the head of. Okay, so for example, you may have met this person when they just closed out a relationship or vice versa. Or you may have met this person when they were in a relationship, but then it broke up and then you got together. There's something about carrying on a family line. Um, but the emperor, this person is maturing. They're seeing in their maturity that they want to settle down. I mean, this is literally the equivalent of the mature man. So again, male and female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy, the vibrational match. This person is thinking about wanting to settle down and that they've wasted their time not focusing on building a family or building a, um, you know, a friendship in a relationship. So uh, I feel this person has carried on a familiar pattern from their childhood. Okay. Um, this person always thinks that you've got somebody else as well. This person tends to blame in order to justify their feelings of abandoning the connection. It's almost like a lack of accountability, but they're coming into accountability now. We've also got community, number 39. When you reduce it, three, uh, nine plus uh, three there is of course 12. So I feel like this person has wasted a lot of time, um, but this person, um, I feel like they want to work together I, I feel like both of you, you can come together. Uh, now, you may have had similar friends. For example, a friendship crossover situation. So you may have known some of their friends and they may have known some of your friends. I do feel like some of them look at both of you like, why are you not together already? It's so clear that you love each other. Okay, that's what I'm getting with this card. Um, they're wondering why you're waiting. Not your closest friends and your family though, Scorpio, because I feel like the, your closest family and friends, the way that the connection has gone, I feel like they want you to step away from that and they want you to move on to something new. They feel like you deserve better, okay, is what I'm getting there. Um, I feel like you and this person will come together. Uh, you will unite, maybe even uh, meet in some sort of, well, <laughs> this is an obvious thing to, to say, but I feel like you and this person will either meet up for dinner or uh, some sort of coffee or something, some sort of catch up, uh, where there is a community gathering. So I don't feel like you and this person are going to take a walk in a field all by yourself. I feel like you're going to gravitate towards some sort of place where there's other people, where you 
me re reunite that's what i feel okay so i mean i mean it could be a bar it could be a restaurant it could be a cafe it could be um i mean it could be even a gallery where there's other people just looking around so please take it as it resonates it's not going to resonate for everyone we've got number 15 which is a toxic energy that is a devil energy the thing that has blocked you both of you are tough stubborn cookies there is stalemate here both of you have had a very difficult path from childhood both of you felt very responsible for um Ever since you were a young age, I feel like you've grown up, both of you have grown up earlier than you were meant to uh, because of the dynamics within your union, which has made you very protective and focus on family and career rather than seeking love. Okay, uh, I feel like you and this person, your connection can endure the test of time, but both of you are very resilient and very independent and you don't readily open up your emotions. So I feel both of you um, have to really look at that. As you can see, when it comes to the emotions, both of you get very, very confused. And I feel throat chakra is blocked here where both of you don't speak up and say how you truly feel. It's almost like as soon as this person uh, goes to tell you something, how they feel, they just push it right down. They push it right down. And I feel you can sense that and you take a step back. Because if they're not willing to go there, you're asking yourself, well, why are you? Okay. Uh, we've also got number 12, the birds. I mean, look at them. They're cuddled up together. This person and you, you have the potential to build a really solid foundation together and be together throughout the test of time. This is about, uh, you know, again, community, working together. Um, and I feel with this, the, they're both owls. So there's both a lot of wisdom here. Sometimes both of you are so intelligent. You think with your heads that you're almost like trying to avoid your hearts. You don't want to, but sometimes both of you are a little bit in your heads. It's almost like you're both second guessing each other because of certain actions. So I feel like both of you are like playing in the game of chess. It's like, oh, they move there. Okay. Well, okay. I'll show them. I'm going to move there then. And they're like, what? Why did they do that? Why did, the, why did Scorpio do that? And then they make a move going, well, I'm going to show you. Then they make a move and you're like, oh, I see how it is. Okay, I'm not going to make any moves for a long time. And then they're like, where's Scorpio? Scorpio's gone. And then all of a sudden you come in and go, checkmate, bye. And then you're gone. It feels like sometimes a bit of a game between you both. It's not a game that either of you are winning. Um, I feel like it's both of you cautiously coming together trying to find out a little bit more what press you know pressing each other's buttons so it's not a game as in you're both trying to play games with each other although sometimes this person may have the way that they talk the way that their wit is it's almost like they like to press people's buttons that doesn't really bode very well with you because it's almost like oh you want to play a game do you well i don't want to have to play the game but i'm going to teach you that i'll win the game if you want to play the game so i feel there's been a bit of that at the beginning of your relationship but now i feel you're matured now you're bored of that um so i do feel like you and this person um the hangman energy is number 12 okay so that is about seeing a new from a new perspective ending old ways releasing restrictions and looking back at what is truly important in life. What is, what would make you happy? And I feel like both of you need to surrender to the union. Now, surrender does not mean give up. Surrender means to trust in divine timing and to sacrifice. I feel like you've made a lot of sacrifices, my beautiful Scorpio, and you're in that position right now where you're like, I've got a choice. Number six, as I said, is the lover's card. You know this person is a soulmate, a twin flame energy, you know, okay? But number six means the lover's card is a choice card as well. So I feel like you have a choice. And with the fork in the road, I feel like you're very much thinking about if you haven't already decided to say, I can't do this anymore, I'm gone. That's, people don't realize that when you take a step away as the chaser in a twin flame connection, that's when you activate their cord and they come seeking you. This person is working on seeking you out. What do dogs do? They sniff things out. They come out. They come, they find what they're looking for. They don't give up normally until they do. So I do feel like this person is doing a lot of soul searching and is coming to find you. Now we do have number seven, and it's the snake. Now the snake is not a negative card in the Lenormand deck. It basically means hidden, the hidden knowledge or things that are unknown. So I do feel like that. Both of you haven't truly opened up to how you really feel about each other. If you both were given a truth serum and were strapped down in a seat and you're both strapped to like a lie detector test and someone said, do you love Scorpio to your counterpart? They'd say, if they said, 
uh, either no, if they said no, they'd be lying. If they said yes, it would show on the truth serum, yeah, they're telling the truth and vice versa. I feel like both of you, the answer to the question, is there love? The answer is yes. But sometimes because of our journey, sometimes because of the path and the insecurities that we picked up along the way, sometimes love is not enough. And that's a tough thing to come to terms with, I know. But I feel like you and this person can shed your old ways. That's why the snake is about re renewal. It sheds its skin. So I feel like you and your person can shed the pattern. You can shed old ways. Normally, a snake, when it's eating its own tail, means um, rejuvenation. So, and it's number seven, which is the chariot card energy, which means you and this person can overcome the obstacles and have a successful union. But you must find the motivation to overcome control issues, overcome self-doubt, overcome defeat, loss of control in order to come together. Okay, so I feel both of you can get back on the horse in this connection. Uh, I feel like you will hear from this person. But let's see with the Celtic cross what's going on there. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Grand Angels. Just to let you know, this is a Starman Tarot by um, David DeAngelis. And I'm only reading the uprights in this deck. Okay, first card, Scorpio Energy, the death card, change, transition. So there are radical changes occurring in this relationship right now, even as we speak. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please? Okay, they're giving me a song, uh, which is Walk This Way, Talk This Way, Walk This Way, <laughs> Talk This Way. <laughs> now give me that kiss. Okay, so that's a very famous song. Um, I think it's Aerosmith who sings that song. Um, so either you heard that song just before this reading, or you hear it after the reading, or you hear that song at some point in February, just before your twin flame reaches out to you, okay? Um, it can even be, I mean, I don't know the lyrics of the song apart from what they've given me. It's just going round and round in circles, and I'm not just going to tell you. <laughs> the same thing over and over again so i'm gonna have to look up the lyrics and see what they mean to your reading but i mean walk this way talk this way now give me that kiss sounds quite controlling i mean it sounds sexy as hell and i'm a scorpio it's like yeah let's do this but at the same time it's kind of like there's an element of control there do this when i say this so i feel like there is a bit of maybe a control issue here with you and your person as well um, so let's see anyway what else comes out there. Um, as I said, I'm only reading the uprights in this deck. And I'm just going to transmute an outcome for you. Thank you so much. Uh, just so you're aware as well, uh, I think I mentioned if you're looking for new love, if you're walking away, I mean, there is a new passion coming on in for you, Scorpio, um, just so you're aware. You may want to check out the singles reading if you're deciding to walk away from this union. Uh, we've got the Ace of Cups here. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. We've got the Star Man, so that's the Magician. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. we got the Six of Swords. They want me to go two more in this position, so I will. Ooh, okay. Uh, we got the Three of Pentacles. I feel like it was that one. Oh, that's, they got three more. Okay, so we got the Emperor and we've got the Two of Pentacles. So there is still choice here, but we got the Empress and the Emperor. So I feel like you and this person, you can come towards a committed, mature union. Okay, let's start from the beginning. The heart of the matter, the death card. This is, your, this is your card, Scorpio, uh, and I feel like you are changing. You're changing the dynamic. You're the one who's taken a step back. You're not giving to this connection anymore. This person may also think, wow, I don't even recognize Scorpio anymore because of the way that you're doing things differently. But you're teaching them that things are now changing. You're not accepting their cycle. Uh, this is a card of transition. Endings bringing a new beginning. But what's interesting about the death card, it doesn't mean that the end is the end. It means the end of a pattern or a, ch a change in the way that you do something in order to make room for something greater. Okay, energy doesn't go anywhere. It transits, it, it, yeah, it transitions as it were. So I feel 
that uh, you are the catalyst for change in this twin flame dynamic, okay? So that is the heart of the matter right now. In this connection, things are changing as we speak. What is crossing you? The High Priestess. Now this is what's crossing the union, you and this union. The High Priestess is about the hidden. So again, there is that energy of you and this person, you have a psychic bond. This is a Virgo energy. So if you're dealing with a Virgo, this person has hidden feelings. They've repressed their feelings for such a long time. Okay, even if they're not Virgo uh, or they don't have Virgo placements, this person has repressed their feelings because there is mistrust. This person is very insecure. There is mistrust that may have come from a different part of their life, whether it's from childhood or whether it is from a relationship before they met you. This person has projected their feelings of low self-worth and mistrust onto you. But I feel like this person is always curious about you. Subconsciously, they cannot stop thinking about you. They're thinking about you all of the time. Also, the thing about this union for both you and them is, oh, Thank you so much. I'm so sure grateful. So I'm just, I'm scrying at the same time as doing a reading. There haven't been many images apart from that song that came up, but they've just given me peanut butter. <laughs> so either you are literally eating peanut butter as you listen to this reading, or perhaps you have a an allergy to peanut butter, um, or your person, it's your, your person's favorite food or peanut is some way relevant. It looks like peanut butter or peanut paste or something like that. So, um, the taste that they're giving me as well, it tastes like peanut butter. So if that's you, there's something in this message for you. If it does not resonate, um, please take it. I mean, that it doesn't mean it's not your reading. It means they want that person whose attention may have wavered. They want to bring them back into the reading. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it like that. But the High Priestess energy, um, for both of you, this has not been a logical relationship. Most situations, my beautiful Scorpio, if you were with somebody and they treated you the way that this person treated you, you'd be like, I'm gone. You, you wouldn't, you would just like disappeared. You wouldn't have even gone to even say, I'm, I'm out, I'm gone. It would, you'd just be gone. Okay. Same with this person, but both of you keep being drawn back to each other. So both of you are aware that this is a relationship like no other. Okay. The high priestess reckons, uh, reconciles the fact that this is a mysterious connection, something that cannot be pinned down to the logical 3D, because it is not a connection that is like any other connection. So the high priestess is about mystery. Both of you are trying to work each other, trying to work each other out. And when you have two people trying to work each other out because they're like, can they hurt me? They may hurt me because I can't really gauge how they're feeling or what they're doing. I can't really work this person out. I feel like you both understand each other from a very, very deep point of view. But neither of you have said. Neither of you truly have connected and been so vulnerable and open in this moment. It makes people question, do they really love me? Will they really want to settle down? Uh, I feel like this person looks at you as very beautiful. You, they, they see you as the highest person they could ever be in a connection with. You are like above a 10. If there was, a, a, I hate when people rate people, but they've just said you're above a 10. So I'm just giving you what they're giving me. But I feel um, this person was not ready to have the responsibility to step up to be in a connection of that level at that time. Okay, now what is below you? We've got a 10 of cups. Both of you want the happy ever after. Both of you are capable of loving each other truly. The Ten of Cups means that there is total love. Both of you, if you can open yourselves up to that level of vulnerability, there is a happy ever after here for you and this person. I mean, you will have a family together if you can get over what is blocking this connection. It is a truly beautiful connection, okay? Um, but what do we have from the past? We've got the Two of Swords. Two of Swords is stalemate uncertainty, considering options, weighing things up, trying to make compromises, um, you know, trying to search for answers that sometimes are just not there, trying to second guess each other. So the two of swords is an energy of taking the time out to work out what is right. The two of swords is that separation. As you can see, there's two, I hope you can see that card. It's such a beautiful card. It's so on point with the art. It's incredible where you can see one person who's split in two, okay? Split in two, so that is the twin flame energy, split in two there, and both sort of trying to, I mean, you've got a snake over here and you've got a pearl 
of wisdom right there. So it's by, while you revitalize and rejuvenate yourself and activate your throat chakra, your person also goes through dark night of the soul and becomes aware. You know, there's an awakening here and you've got a lone wolf. So both of you are very independent creatures, both very solitary. You also, both of you may feel like you're outside looking in when it comes to society. You're both made of the same energy, but a temporary timeout, whether that temporary timeout meant months or years, in order to spiritually evolve and work out what it is you truly want. I feel like the stalemate energy is over, okay? Because that is in the past position. So that's quite an important message. Now the Empress card is in the above position. So this relationship has the power to manifest uh, a beautiful sort of love where you could settle down and have a family with each other. Some of you may have already had a child with this person or you may have had a child who is now in spirit or there may have been a miscarriage or in some respects with this person. Um, but I feel like this person thinks about settling down with you. Okay, again, male or female, not a gender specific reading. The potential position is what you have to offer. Okay, and the Empress card has a lot to offer. A healthy boundary, strong self-esteem. You're a new version of yourself, Scorpio. And this person you're dealing with is also a new version of themselves. There's a bit more healthy energy. And I feel like this connection is, this connection has a lot of potential to be something really beautiful that can create a wonderful dynamic in the future. Now, in the near future, we have the page of, uh, the, well, the Prince of Wands, which is the equivalent of the Page of Wands. So I do feel like this is messaging, you and this person. Pages bring news, okay? So I feel like you will receive a passionate message from your person. This person wants to come out of a comfort zone. They want to venture forward. I feel like this person does actually want to find their purpose, but I feel they know that their main purpose is with you, okay? Uh, this person may have a strong Sagittarius or fire in their chart as well. Um, but I feel like this person who sends a message, the way that they send this message is very clever. There's something strategic about the way that they send this message. It's almost like as soon as you receive this message, you do not want to message this person back. You're like, I can't believe they sent something like that. But they've sent it in a very clever way, way that you feel compelled to message back. This person's thought about this message that they're sending to you for a long time. They've edited it many, many times uh, and rewritten it, okay? Um, now they're showing me a pair of socks. So I don't know what that's about. Either you're putting socks on as you um, are listening to this reading or you just put socks away. Can also mean that this person is going to open up and say that they were very complacent in the relationship and they want to show you their heart um, because they really want you to be aware if you can see there uh, it's almost like stemming from their chest there is a big old branch so I feel like their heart it's almost like they want to plan plant roots this person wants to have a new beginning I mean page of uh, wands prince of uh, you know wands fire whatever you want to call it is the start of something it is, they want to start anew. This person, you know, they're following the, their desire and their desire is leading to you. Um, but they feel like you're going to shoot them down. Okay. Now, I also feel like there is a new person coming into your energetic sphere um, in um, the near future. So I feel like you may be exploring other options at this time as well, Scorpio. So just be aware of that. I'm not going to bring it up too much in this reading. That's in the singles reading if you want to check that out. Now, this is the advice to yourself in this moment, the Queen of Wands, and that's for both of you. Confidence, knowing that both of you are beautiful, both inside and out. Also, uh, you know, coming back to your feisty self, the reason why you both fell in love with each other in the first place. There may be a little bit of anger here, but I feel like it will be dissolved. Um, but I feel it's more about having confidence. Also, and because, I mean, this is, there's a symbol here of protection. So I do feel like both of you sometimes don't feel like you're enough or don't feel like you're beautiful or you feel like time is running out. Both of you are actually mirroring each other's behavior. And there's a symbol there, it's like a, a salamander gecko there, uh, that is a symbol of protection. Um, and we've got two, as you can see, these two black panthers, they're so beautiful, look at them. But they're almost like camouflaged, hidden. So whilst passion burns bright, I feel like, you know, 
there is like a hidden protective energy which sometimes prevents you and this person from really being your true selves with each other. Even though you can feel your authentic selves with each other, I feel like both of you guard yourselves against one another. Now I'm going to pull a card here because it is another court card, okay? So there may have been a third party in the past or um, that was in question. Okay, we've got two fives for both of you. I mean, you're, it's crazy how much you're mirroring each other. I feel like there is nobody else, okay, in this connection. We've got the five and the five. Both of them are in the reverse. That is a positive way to receive a five in a, in a tarot deck. The five of swords in the reverse says, whoever was playing mind games, they don't want to do that anymore. They want peace, okay? And the five of cups in the reverse says, I felt abandoned, but you know, I'm willing to forgive. I want to return to you. So I feel there is peace and hope and love returning to this connection. If both of you have the confidence to go for it. Okay. Um, now the external circumstances, that's the environment is the Ace of Cups, a peaceful, loving relationship that will turn into a high level of commitment. Some of you will actually have a child together. Um, Ace of Cups is divinely guided. It is a divine union. You and this person are meant to come together in divine union. But there is also a new love on the energetic sphere for you as well, Scorpio, should you choose not to go towards your twin flame. But the Ace of Cups says there is love. And uh, love, this love between you and this person will give you both hope and you will both explore the possibilities that are available to you, okay? Now, the hope and a fear is the star man, which is very interesting because control issues did come up in this reading. Uh, the magician card is about, uh, you know, focus, confidence, and, you know, having everything you need within you to be complete, to be with this person. Both of you have everything you need. Neither of you are lacking. Both of you are on equal grounding, okay? But sometimes this person that you're dealing with procrastinates or they do not plan for the future. I do feel like this person has wasted a lot of time. They've got, they're trying to regain their scattered energy. So I do feel like the fear here is that a lot of time has been wasted. So how is it, will you know when this person comes back on in that they truly mean it this time and not waste time again and again and be in that repetitive cycle? But remember, Scorpio, you're changed. You're, you're, you're changing. You've changed the script. So I do feel like you and this person, I mean, the magician is about thoughts becoming things. Both of you think about each other all of the freaking time. Okay. If you cannot sleep, you are awake in their thoughts and vice versa. Now the outcome position is interesting. We've got a six of swords. The six of swords basically means a rite of passage. This was meant to occur. This is the twin flame journey. It is a difficult one, but unfortunately you chose this path before you came here, okay? Um, and the Six of Swords is also about spirit guiding you out of troubled waters into calmer emotional spaces. And also it helps you change the way you think in order to gain greater wisdom or understanding about the connection. So I do feel like you and this person are learning a little bit more about yourselves and the way that you react in this connection. I feel like you're changing the way that you react, okay? Now, for some of you, the Six of Swords, I mean, they keep showing me as well. Some of you actually had a miscarriage or a child in spirit. Now, that's not gonna resonate for everyone, so please take it as it resonates, but they're just showing me that as well. They're saying, have compassion for yourself, and if you feel any, um, they're just showing me to release the energy that uh, you are loved. Okay, uh, I mean, that even connects. I'm going to be doing a um, a free personal reading for one lucky subscriber. I'm going to do a competition for one of those. I'll let you know how to win it right at the end. But it's interesting that they said you are loved because that's actually part of the competition. Anyway, we'll move on. Uh, we got three of pentacles here. Three of pentacles typically means collaboration, working together. You know, as you can see, there is um, one, two, three. There's actually four figures here. Uh, Three of Pentacles does not mean that there is a third party situation. Three of Pentacles tends to mean coming together to work together. It means you're on the way to building a solid foundation. 
Together, you can make something that was very delicate become something that is stronger if you work together, is literally what the card means. So both of you can work things out and things can, it's almost like you can work miracles. Look at that, that figure is actually balancing on all of those coins. So you and this person can actually make this relationship work. You can make the impossible possible, but you must work together, okay? Now we've got a Two of Pentacles. So with the Two of Pentacles, that can mean a couple of things, choices. It can also mean that both of you need to find some sort of balance in this connection. Also with a Twin Flame connection, sometimes we can let the baggage of the connection weigh us down so that we cannot move forward and we forget to be playful. We forget why we fell in love with that person in the first place. So I'm just gonna pull a card on the Two of Pentacles because this card can be about adaptability, being flexible, being open to see where the union goes and that it can develop in unexpected ways, especially since you've got uh, sort of the unexpected there. Uh, I feel I need to pull a card on this one. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels, can you please? There it is, there it is. It can come together in unexpected ways. Two of Cups. There is, I mean, you and this person are divinely guided towards each other. You cannot stop thinking about this person. You're not crazy. This person thinks the same way about you. There is a divine union here, and I feel both of you can work this out, but you need to find balance in the connection, okay? There needs to be balance. Uh, they want me to leave this one out, okay? And finally, we got the Emperor. Maturity. Uh, wanting to settle down, planning so for the future. We've got an energetic match. So both you and this person, you can come together, but the stalemate needs to be left behind. Both of you got to be open and honest and sort of respectful that we've all had different journeys. I mean, none of us come here with a manual of how to do life. We're just doing, okay? So just be aware of that. And yes, this person, I feel like you've invested a lot in this connection. I do feel like this person has a lot to uh, talk about in terms of the twists and turns that they have taken. I feel like this person has some regret there. Um, but I feel like this person has learnt. Look at all those books. This person has learnt. And I feel like this person is in more control of their emotions now. They're thinking about settling down. This person may have even set up their own business or, uh, you know, financially is bossing up. I feel like they're focusing on their career. I feel like they're just a lot more stable in life than when you first met them, that's for sure. And I feel they want to be with their divine counterpart now, and that person is you, okay? So I'm gonna leave that there. Uh, before we close, I'm just gonna get you a, that's calling to me right there, a heart. Okay. And it says here, watch for you, watch what you wish for. You are about to receive it. Watch what you wish for. You are about to receive it. Okay? Uh, now, I thought maybe that was an omen that this other heart fell, but they said for me to leave it, so I will. Okay? Normally, I'd take it, but they said to leave it. So I'm going to leave it like that. Watch what you wish for. You are about to receive it. So, I hope something resonates in this reading for you, my beautiful Scorpio. I do feel like you will hear from this person uh, in February. Um, I feel like it'll be quite a strategically planned message something that is irresistible where you you feel compelled to reply to it it's been very thought out okay uh, i do feel like this person wants to heal things with you and i feel they want that happy ever after uh, also I feel like something really good in your career to celebrate as well. I don't know why that's just coming through as well. Um, so I'm just going to leave it like that. If you'd like to remember the chance to win a free personal reading, all you have to do is put this comment in the comment box below. I am loved. And I'll gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 28th of February. My guides will not give me the person's name until the actual date, the 28th of February. So I will not know who wins until then. Uh, I'll upload a video just to let you know who wins uh, the reading because um, just to make sure you know it's me saying it and not some scammer out there, okay? So I'll leave it like that. I hope something resonates. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me, my beautiful Scorpio. Thank you so much and love and light.